Hey there gang, welcome back to Big Board. I thought I'd do a quick little video here. Well, it may not be end up being little, it may end up being reasonably long. I'm not sure. Let's see what happens here. I've had a couple of requests from folks in regards to this particular game from Prats and Editions. It's the lower tour of the Emperor, the return of the Emperor. And uh, just to, to do some more video and explain how some of the different mechanics work. And now that um, I'm only in the first turn here, so I have zero experience, but I thought I would share a little bit about uh, conducting combat or, and melee into uh, fortified villages and situations like that. There's uh, some nuance that you probably don't pick up in the rules just because of the, the wording, and it might in part be a function of the fact that it's a translated you know, translated set of rules. But these uh, these counters, if we can just focus in on here for a second, these counters, that uh, bottom left red number is the mal mal uh, the Malay value. And the word Malay value, words Malay value are important to remember. It's not the Malay combat factor, and it's not the Malay strength. And then the number next to it is the number of steps that it has, and then the number to the right of that, in green, is the morale. And so one of the things I learned uh, when going through this is in the tables, here these tables say morale modifiers. When they say morale modifiers, they're talking about the morale value modifiers. So these, these, uh, these adjustments here, if I'm being attacked in the rear, I'm subtracting three from the morale value. I'm not subtracting three from the die roll, which is how I read this originally. And of course, it doesn't make sense because if I'm trying to roll low, I need to roll under eight to have a successful morale check. I wouldn't, and I'm being attacked in the rear, I wouldn't subtract three, I'd add three to the result. Now, arguably, oh, I don't know if that would be the same, but statistically, I wonder if that's the same, right? If the same net result will come of that. I'd have to have a quick think about that, and now's not the time. Uh, so there's one there's one thing we've learnt already. The second thing we learnt is that uh, it is entirely possible for you to come up into position to fire your weapons, your muskets at 75 meter range, and completely whiff or have no net effect because something's fortified. It's going to reduce the value, your attack value. And when you go to roll a dice, you know you've got a one in six chance of hitting or something like that and then there's a, there's modifiers that can force you to miss. The same can happen with a melee. If I were to try and melee line units into here, I would end up with a number that's not up with a, a number that's not positive basically and that means I can't attack. But let's just walk through that over here. So I had this unit which had one step loss and he's in uh, Popolot or Papelot, and so he has three steps and a strength of two. But because he he was disordered, he's just going to have a strength of one, and we're going to multiply that out by the number of steps, which is three. So he's going to have a combat strength of three. And these chappies here are attacking a column, and they're going to get a plus one to their number here. So we were going to go, oh, that's awesome, it's three times three is nine. Well, actually it's not, because we're going to look at the terrain modifiers for the attacker. And I don't know if I can show it here, where is it? Do, 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 fortified town, here we go. The infantry value is minus two for the attacker. Can you see that there? Minus two. So I have an attack strength of two. I've got to subtract two from that guy, so he goes down to zero but we have one for being in column doing the attack, so he's a one. So it's one times three is three, and this is the same deduction. So one times four is four. So I have a total attack strength of seven, and they have a total defense, what did we say it was? Uh, three, so it's a two to one attack. And on that two to one attack, if I look at the results, uh, where are we? Here's a two to one. I rolled a four on that combat. I know that's not very well focused, but I rolled a four, so that was a... No, it wasn't a four. What did I roll? 
Oh, no, so they weren't disordered uh, earlier on. It's just a one, it's a, it's a strength of one, I'm sorry, dang it. Uh, it's a strength of one here because they're in general order. And when we rolled the four, we got a disorder, which means we would treat two hexes and become disordered or disorganized. Okay, so you're with me? It was three steps, because we've got one loss here, and I just put them underneath. Uh, three steps times one is three because he's general order, which means he has a strength of one. And when they're disorganized, you put this little guy across the so across him like that, and that tells you that on turn one he was uh, he was eliminated, or he was uh, he was disordered, and we'll be able to roll for rally for him at a certain point in the future, which we'll talk about later. Let's go over and look at a, a result where we killed something. Because killing things is always good. Over here in the orchards we had a Saxon infantry unit here. And he was also in general order. And general order is the formation type you take when you're in obstructed terrain of some type. So buildings, villages, woods, broken ground, stuff like that, you treat it as uh, a general order, which means general order, which means you have uh, 360 degrees on a control, but you suffer penalties as we've already seen. So these guys were in here and they were dis these guys were disordered in fact. And oh now that makes me wonder, did I need to actually retreat them? So I failed my morale check. Do I retreat? Something I'll need to check. Uh, what we did here was we piled in, we fired our cannons. Here and here, there's another set of cannons right here. Fired these chappies into here, earned a disorder, and then we uh, went through the melee, the uh, de defensive fire, off an offensive fire. So, actual fact, these guys would have fired first, right? which they did do and missed. Then we had our cannonade and our infantry, combined infantry fire. And then these guys in the melee phase melayed, and they melayed in uh, with a strength of one. Was it normal? See, I can't even remember. I just did it five minutes ago. Uh, let's see, that terrain, woods, Attacker, yeah, infantry value minus one. So we had minus one, so basically no modifier, right? So it's just a two, so two times three is six. And then whatever else is underneath here, I think that's a big unit. Two times six is 12. So we added those two numbers together. This guy was disorganized, so he just had a, a value of one times the number of steps he had. And then we got, uh, ended up, I think, with four to one odds and got another disorder. And so he was eliminated, and then we were. We advance these dudes in there. Make sense? So that's that's what we that's the exercise we went through. And there's a rally phase. There's nothing that the French need to rally. Uh, so we're off to the races with the British now and the Allies. And then we'll see what happens. And I'll let you know from there later.